Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, you guys can see, I mean, I'm definitely outside doing the live stream here. So we are in Sabino Canyon, uh, Tucson, Arizona. So this is like about 15 minute hike in. Uh, this is an overlook, okay, as you can see. Hold on, let me flip the camera around. It's what, what an absolutely beautiful place. Perfect where the sun is about to coming out. And you're gonna overlook the entire Tucson, Arizona here. And then to the right, to the left, here's the uh, Mount Lemon to the left. Just absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The sun is about to coming out. So I think we're gonna walk pretty fast because the lighting is gonna be really bad. So this is my outdoor setup, my kind of like outdoor coffee bar. Uh, I got my hand grinder, uh, kettle from San Anthony. We're going to be using the AeroPress. And uh, I just brought some uh, scale as well. Why not, right? I'm just going to just use a scale, you know. And uh, here's my uh, placemat on the bottom. Hold on, man. hopefully give you guys the better view. Okay, oh, no, this is not bad. So let's make some quick coffee this morning. Uh, I'm going to be using coffee from Brazil. For, so I already measured that 15 grams each. All right, get the coffee bar set up here. Yeah, I mean, it is a lot of fun, I have to say. Making coffee out there is really treat. I don't know, some people don't like it, but <clears throat> personally, I love it. So this is the like cheap uh, Amazon stove. Cost me what, five bucks, six bucks or so. Very inexpensive. Works pretty well. So this is the, you know, get the uh, butane canister. You can get it from anywhere. Just make sure everything is all closed up whenever you... Make sure everything is nice and tight. So this is the kettle from St. Anthony Industry. Set it up just like so. I'm gonna put some water in it. Now I'll do it just, just a little. And then start the water. Okay, water is going. It's gonna be boiling pretty fast. Extremely fast, actually. So you gotta work pretty fast here. Again, I'm gonna be using 15 gram recipe for AeroPress. Uh, comes the grinder setting. I think I'm gonna set at 20 clicks. I'm gonna just make sure to double check here. Gonna be doing 20 clicks. You got 20 clicks ready to go. Just put the simply put the coffee beans in. We're gonna go on the way.
Man, this is the one downside of a hang glider. You gotta work at work at it. Okay, so almost done here. All right. Okay, coffee's done. Coffee beans done. This is Aeropress. This, uh, this is a Go model. Comes with a spoon, but we don't need it. But we're gonna use this. So this is our cup. The go comes in this nice uh, paper carrying case there. <clears throat> Take the one paper out. Put, put the paper on the bottom. And then some people likes to wet it. <clears throat> you know, we, uh, let's wet the, let's wet it. Okay, so get the, all the paper flavor out. It's pretty windy right now, so... Okay, let's check the water. Man, water is almost ready. Uh, water is ready. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna wet the paper. Quick, oops. I don't wanna lose it. Just like so, okay. Wet the paper here. So that um, so there's a couple of different methods. You can you can do the direct method or you can do the inversion method. Uh, personally, I like to do the inversion method. So just like this, got my scale here. Hopefully, you guys can see the scale. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna wait for the zero out. I don't know why this gear is takes a little time. Here I go. Zero out here. Uh, I guess we got the coffee beans. Uh, comes to grinder setting. Uh, you want to be like medium, uh, kind of like medium fine. So you want to be fine. Okay. I got about 15 gram there. Uh, just uh, yeah, exactly 15 gram. Again, I'm I'm in the, this class. So. You want to be something hard surface. Okay, zero out here. So I'm gonna be doing like one to 15 ratio. So I got 15 in, uh, maybe like 225 grams of water, just directly pour in. Right now I'm at uh, one, hold on. I'm just gonna do a little more. Okay, sun is coming out guys. So this is about just under 200 gram. Okay. So we're gonna do just under, more like one to 14 ratio. Man, I, I have to show you guys the sunset, uh, sunrise here guys, it's beautiful. Beautiful sunrise, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous in the morning. I think this is why I really enjoy the outdoor coffee making. And just stir it, okay, stir it rigorously. I like to wait about maybe like 30 seconds or so. Okay, just wait. By the way, there is a tons and tons of great recipes out there on the website, you know, in the web. So just try the, the best recipe for you guys. Just lock it in. Next thing you gotta do is just flip it over. Just squeeze it. Okay, do not force it, okay? Just use the usual arm. Just let it go. Okay, just nice and easy. Man, sun is coming out. What a beautiful morning. What a beautiful morning here. Okay. 
again, oh, you don't want to force it. You just, just go nice and easy. Uh, comes to this coffee, the tasting note is uh, uh, chocolate and also another tasting note. I think chocolate and some almonds are nutty as well. And it's very earthy. Okay. It's almost done. Again, uh, just use your arms. Don't force it, just let it go. Nice and easy. <laughs> the fact is, there's no bad coffee in outdoor. So, you're gonna see the hissing sound. Nice coffee is ready. Man, summer is wonderful. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Happy Sunday. <coughs> Man, wrong pipe. It is really delicious. Wow. I'm just going to add a little bit more water. I think 15 gram makes you like you know, perfect for one person. So especially you are using the go. You could use like 15 in and maybe you, you might want a more strong version of it. Pull the shot and then dilute with some water. So again, there's a various recipes out there. So that's great. Again, as you can see, my setups are very simple. Hope you, guys, you guys can see that. Uh, just hand grinder kettle. I mean, this stuff is really cool. I mean, I really like this. It's not, it's not sturdy, okay, but for what we do, it's just nice and easy. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday morning, and then I'm gonna see you guys in about a couple hours, okay? I got some couple unboxing for you this morning, and also we got, oh, you know what, let's try out the Eureka Zero, the Eureka Manion Zero. Uh, let's make some coffee with it. So let's use that for the first time this morning. All right. Anyway, uh, 